The desert is such a dry area. There seems to be no water nearby. You are right. There is very less rain in the desert and there are no rivers here. But see, there are plants. I wonder how these plants are able to live in the desert without water. Oh, these plants have adapted themselves to their dry conditions. I learned about adaptations in animals, but I did not know that plants also have features to adapt themselves or to adjust to their environment. Like animals, plants also adapt to the conditions where they live in. Can you tell me about adaptations in plants? Mm -hmm. Yes. See, this is a cactus. It grows in dry areas. Why does this cactus plant have no leaves? A genius question. But before I answer this, let me ask you a question. If we keep water in these two containers in sunlight, from which container will water evaporate faster? Water will evaporate faster from the bowl. Right, but why? Because the bowl has more surface area. Therefore, more sunlight can directly fall on the water. So more water will evaporate. Sweetheart, you're a genius. How do you know all this? I launched it in Faces of Matter video on MakeMeGenius.com But you did not answer my question, why does the cactus have no leaves? You answered your question yourself. Cactus don't have leaves as cactus has to survive in very dry and hot environment. Leaves have bigger surfaces like water in the bowl. So cactus can lose more water in evaporation. So in place of leaves, cactus has spines. Spines reduce the surface area, so less water is lost, less surface area and less water escapes out. I see. And due to spines, no animals can eat the cactus. You are right. This adaptation in cactus helps it to save itself from being eaten by animals. Cactus' stem is also very thick. How does that help? Thick stem is useful in storing water. And also look carefully. Cactus has a waxy coating. Yes, I know. Waxy coating stops water from escaping. You are right. Plants in hot and sunny areas like deserts have waxy coating to reduce water loss. And also, let's look at the root system of this plant. It has very long roots to collect water from a large area.